Today, I am at Epcot's World Showcase because I wanted to show you guys some of my favorite coffee in the parks. And there happens to be a couple of stops right at World Showcase that have some extra special coffee. So, I wanted to bring you a closer look at that. Not just Starbucks, not Joffrey's. I mean, something with a little bit more. So, let's go do this. So the inspiration for this coffee vlog was because I was sitting home and I was thinking about going to a coffee shop just to hang out, check out some comments, watch some videos, and then I decided I'm going to go to Epcot. I mean, why drink coffee at a coffee shop when you can have a cup of joe at Epcot? And there's nothing wrong with going with good old Joffrey's or Starbucks, but if you're in the mood for something different and just want a little change up, then I got a couple of places for you. And for our first spot for coffee, we're going to Morocco. Right inside the Tangerine Cafe, they have a nice little Moroccan coffee that is delightfully full of flavors. I like that, delightfully full of flavors. They even have their own coffee bar. It is called a Morish coffee and it's an espresso with cinnamon and nutmeg. And orange plus water. Ooh, and it comes with that, orange? Yes. Wow, very nice. And here it is, the Morish Coffee. Espresso with cinnamon and nutmeg and orange blossom water. It looks so good and I cannot wait to drink it. But, what goes good with a good cup of coffee? A good view or atmosphere. And just look at it in here. Beautiful. You can hear the water running over there. Just so calming. I have to talk quiet because I feel like I'll make a big echo. Oh, 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 that's a strong cup. Oh yeah, that has got a kick. So the Morish coffee is a very strong coffee. If you don't like strong coffee, you're probably not gonna like that. But thankfully, I am a like three cup of coffee kind of guy, so that's not our only coffee spot, and there are going to be some sweeter coffees with a little bit more delicious flavoring. So let's move along. And for our next caffeinated beverage, we are in the France Pavilion to get something a little bit colder. And cold is something that you might really like here in Florida because it seems to get a little bit hot out. And you will find Artisan Degris. 16 flavors of Artisan ice cream. Yep, it's an ice cream shop, but that doesn't mean they don't got the coffee works going on in here. We are getting the Cafe Glace. Look at all that ice cream. Delicious. Look at that. So we have cold, cold pressed espresso, a scoop of the coffee ice cream, whipped cream with some caramel on top. This 
looks absolutely amazing. If you decide you want to come get this, it costs $7.50 and you need to specify that you want the coffee ice cream because they'll just give you the regular vanilla ice cream, but I like to take it up a notch, you know? Absolutely amazing. And can we talk about the views? Look at this. I like it a lot. I know it's hard to resist because it actually looks very pretty, but you're going to want to stir it around a little bit and let that ice cream melt a little bit so that the coffee can soak up into it. Phenomenal, I'm telling you. Very, very delicious. You can drink these and probably be very wide awake and run around the parks all day. Oh, yes. I can hear Guardians of the Galaxy mixtape blasting over there and I'm like, yeah. All right, I am feeling great and ready to carry on and move on. So on to our next coffee drink, which is gonna be another delightful delete. Our next spot takes us on the other side of the lagoon in the heart of China. And this coffee drink is a little bit different because it is only for 21 and over. It has a little whiskey in it. And you can find it at the Joy of Tea Stand. And it is called Tipsy Ducks in Love. You heard right. Tipsy Ducks in Love. Oh, very good. Thank you. And there it is, the Tipsy Ducks in Love. A little bit of bourbon whiskey with coffee, black tea, chocolate syrup, and cream. Oh yes. And like I said, not for the consumption of kids and teenagers. Only for the grown-ups. But, like all the other drinks, we need to get some good views. And you can't beat this view. Look at this. This is fabulous, by the way. I just gotta say. Oh, look, look, the monkey's coming up. You see him? Ha! Ah, hidden monkey. The Tipsy Ducks in Love is a little bit on the thicker side of a coffee drink, but it does cost $10.50 because of the alcohol content. It's pretty delicious though. It's a more strong taste of chocolate and coffee mixed together. You really can't taste the whiskey. I take back that statement because once you get down to this far, I don't know if the whiskey just ran to the bottom. It has a very strong whiskey taste. It's starting to get real hot outside, so I decided to dive into the China Pavilion a little more and look at this place. Unbelievable. Most people are lining up right here to see the 360 film that they present, but I want to go into the little museum area on the side to take a look at some of Shanghai Disney Resort's best offerings. Shanghai Disney is definitely on the list of the places I would love to go. They have Fantasyland, they have everything over there, even a little Toy Story Land. And they actually have all of their cast member outfits over here for Toy Story Land. Look, Al's Toy Barn hostess costume. And then they have the men's version over here. That's pretty awesome, isn't it? They have a Mickey Avenue. Look how cool that is. A Disney Town. Wow, so much cool stuff. And then of course, a lots of different resorts that they have there. And another thing they have that I'm very excited that we are getting here in Florida. Tron Light Cycle Power Run. It's gonna be epic. And with that, I think I am done here. I am all coffeeed up and I'm ready to go for the day. If you guys know of any cool coffee spots in Disney World, let me know in the comments so I can check them out. I do have to say that my favorite coffee of all of Disney World is going to be Kona Cafe where they have the pressed Hawaiian coffee, but you do need a reservation for that and it's not in the parks. So, love the life you live and we'll see you next time. Bye!